Hi, my name's Mad Jack. I'm from Science Boffins. I'm going to give you a few tips how to make some really cool and interesting things with things you might find in your home. Right, now I'm going to show you how to make slime without using borax or PVA glue. Uh, this was actually something that I discovered when I was a child. My mum used to let me play with one of our ingredients, the first of which is here. We have corn flour. Uh, it's used to thicken gravies. Um, now we're going to make a bit of blue corn flour slime today. So I've got just standard food colouring, blue food colouring. And we're going to need some water to mix with the corn flour, something to mix it with, in this case a lolly stick, but anything will do. And I'm going to do it on this plate here. So first of all, what we need to do, make a nice pile of corn flour in the middle of our plate. Lovely. Okay, I'll just break up some of the larger lumps. Right. Now I will add some blue food colouring to the water. It's much easier to do that. It will mean that you get a more balanced colour throughout your slime, as you can see. It's made a beautiful pattern. Just mix that up. Okay, so now we're going to slowly add the water. I've made a little hole in the middle, you can see there. So we're going to slowly add some in, give it a stir. And you can see as I do it, there's a certain stiffness. And corn flour slime, like any slime, is a non-Newtonian liquid. The more you force it, the more solid it actually becomes. We'll start to mix that all nicely in there. Now, this is definitely something you can try with your kids. It's quite difficult. You have to be actually very, very gentle. You can see in some ways it's solid, but then when I stop moving it, it returns to a liquid state. This is, as I say, what is in common with all non-Newtonian liquids, slime, putty, custard. Now, it might actually be easier for me to get my fingers in. Nothing wrong with that. Now, as you can see, if I push it together, it's solid. But as I relax it, You've got a lovely slime effect. Now this means that I can actually keep it in a ball. If I want to roll it in a ball, you can see here, it will nicely shape itself as long as you keep moving it. As soon as I Stop moving it, it returns to liquid. I'll show you again. Gently press it together, get that rolling again. Now, if you want to make it slightly thinner, of course, you add more water. If you want to make it more solid, yeah, then you can just add slightly less. And while I keep pushing it, push, 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 you can see solid, and then back to a horrible liquid. And there we are. That's how to make slime without borax or PVA glue.